Hi guys and welcome, my name is Jude and today I am here to talk about DNF books. Which for those of you who don't know what that is, it stands for did not finish. Or more likely, this is about people that cannot leave a book as a DNF. They may not like it, they may not want to continue, but they still cannot leave it unread. Which I don't get. Like, I have encountered so many people online and in real life that just won't do it. They won't do it. There's people that sometimes tell you like, oh, just push through it. Just, it may get better, it may not get better, but at least you will have finished it. Like, no, just move on. I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. When people say that sort of thing, you know what it reminds me of? Dating. It sounds like a mother effing date gone wrong. Example. It's like when you go out to a nice place, you know, with the candles and the food and the drinks and the hopeful look in your eyes, only to find that your date just sucks. Either because they are boring, maybe annoying, or a cliche, or just, just plain awful. Like, plain, plain awful. And you're just sitting there looking at them thinking, what the fuck is this? Why did I agree to this? And then they stop and look at you and they ask, so, would you like to go on another date? And you say, nah. Why? Is it because you think the book is going to get its feelings hurt? It's not a person, it's a shitty ass book. Is it because you think it's going to get better? Like, trust me, if after 50 pages it hasn't picked itself up, it probably ain't going to do so. And neither will your date. If like, if you think they're going to get better at the second date, mm, chances are uh, they won't. And then there's the other reason where you go like, but I paid for it, I spent good money on it. Now I have been through this process. I, I have sat down with a book and thought, well, I spent hard earned money on this. Might as well finish it, you know? No, because that is bullshit. And you know what it reminds me of? Dating. Example? It's like being at a hella nice restaurant and your date being the same little shithead of your past date and you thinking, well, this did cost a fortune. Might as well go out on another date, you know, make it worth my while. And then you ask, so, would you like to go out again? Why? You just gotta know that whether it's a date or a book, sometimes you just gotta let him go. Don't let them waste your time. Life is short. There's so many books out there to read, people to meet. Don't waste your time on something that you are not enjoying, something that you are not liking, something that's not making you happy. Because finishing through it doesn't get you a prize. You don't get a gold star for trying. You don't. You just get annoyed of all the time you wasted. And maybe you're optimistic and thinking it will get better, but it probably won't. Maybe, maybe after a few years it does get better, but it's not really because the book changed, it's because you did. Maybe you're more mature now and you can get the book, you understand it better now, or maybe you have a new perspective on it. Or maybe it will be just as shit as you remembered. I don't know. Now I uh, personally always give it a book 50 pages, but only 50 pages. And if it seems like it's picking itself up, I'll make it to 100 and then I'll make my decision. But after that, if I don't like it, ain't nobody got time for that. And you don't either. Like, like treat yourself better. Make it worth your time. Find something that you love and go for it. And that's all I gotta say on the matter. Don't date assholes. Date good, good books. So thank you so much for watching. Do let me know your comments in the comment section down below. Like, do you read all of the books? Or do you actually have the courage to leave them unfinished and be like, no, I didn't like it. I didn't. Let me know. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.